Hey y'all, Professor Wyman here, and I am in the extroversion data set um, that I downloaded from um, Kaggle and have been using in class. This is just a quick video to talk about missing values in Jamovi. Um, and one note is that we're going to get a lot more complicated talking about missing values later in the semester. But for right now, I'm just talking about how you can set missing values in Jamovi. Um, basically, a missing value is a value where you don't have a response. And so you typically want to um, be able to note that in your um, in Jamovi or in whatever program you're using. So for these variables, if I click into this first one, these are different extroversion uh, measures from the big five. And zero is actually a missing value in this case. Um, it could be that it's a number. Um, so when you do missing values in SPSS, like 99 is the missing value automatically. Um, there's, there's a variety of different ways that you might see missing values. It could be an NA, whatever, you know, things like that. But basically in Jamovi, you can tell it that you want this value to be missing. So for example, um, I, based on the, on the responses, one through five are this uh, disagree to agree and zero is missing. So in case somebody has a zero, what I want to do is say missing value, add missing value, and I just type a zero there. So when the source, which is the variable that we're in, um, equals zero, I remember that in Jamovi it's double equal sign for logical tests. When it equals zero, we want it to be a missing value. Um, so I can go ahead and just click out of this. And now if I go back to this variable, you can see that the zero is there. Another fast way to do this um, is to select all of them. So instead of just doing one at a time, where you know, I can go back and see that's a zero. I could click here, so click on the variable name, and then I'm gonna shift, hold down shift and click on this last one. And so now I have multiple data variables selected and I can make the missing values zero for all of them at the same time. And so now if I look at them individually, you can see a zero. So that's the end of this very short video. Um, you probably noticed these should not be nominal, but that's not what this video is about. Um, and we'll talk more about missing values uh, later in the semester.